Hello everybody, this is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining me today. If you've been wondering where I am or where I have been, I have moved uh, and over the last four months I've been stuck on a laptop as my system was being packaged up and shipped to my new location. So I haven't had my Excalibur system, which is an awesome desktop, and I've been running on a really terrible laptop, so I haven't been able to make any videos. So anyway, uh, before I get back to any of my other series or restart some of my old ones that I've ended, um, I would like to introduce a game that I bought during the winter sale of uh, this 2021 and into to the early part of 2022, The Sands of Salzar, or Salzar, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. This is a game that uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of Diablo 2, uh, when I played that way back in the day. Also kind of reminds me of Mountain Blade. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, I'm not an expert on this, and don't misunderstand. <laughs> I've only played this one time, so you're coming along with me for the first time, really, to see what it's all about, and uh, I don't really even know what I'm doing, other than how mostly not to die. So, uh, it has two modes, the story mode and the sandbox mode. We're gonna go ahead and go to story, and uh, hard probably is going to get me killed. We're gonna go to normal, because I'm a new player. Uh, it says NPCs invade less frequency, uh, troops are wounded less often, will not disband. And if we go to hard, uh, we're gonna see troops are wounded at normal rates and will disband when all squads are knocked out. And you may roll to evade attacks uh, up, whatever, I don't know. Uh, what that means. The problem with this game basically is that uh, some of the translation is not quite up to standard, but you kind of think as you're reading it and you don't quite understand, well, you know, not everywhere in the world do they speak perfect English. So if you're out in the desert running around trying to meet people, yeah, they may not exactly uh, speak your language. So trying to make, uh, make it through the desert uh, on your own might be a little confusing. They have returned. There was a war 20 years ago. That war took my father, my mother, my homeland, everything. The black sun rose in the sky, heralding destruction. You've protected mankind for a thousand years. Who am I to judge? But it all started with you. Now, I will be the one to finish it. Okay, so, um, as these have plot quests, uh, there's quite a few people here. And I guess there's some kind of legacy system as well. So uh, starting off with the spirit mancer here would be the easiest thing. We have a follower and uh, some other things as well. And we can go all the way up uh, to more difficulty or even the nameless one. So um, I don't want to make it too hard. Let's see the jackal here, uh, stealthy shadow bounty hunter, the shaman here. Uh, you can shape shift into beastly forms. Berserker is always kind of fun because you know you run around smashing stuff. We're going with the old Spirit Mancer here just to uh, take the difficulty low because I still don't know what I'm doing really. Uh, you can set their hair, face, and so on, uh, change them up. Make... Uh, and it says the, the avatar will be used as the character's avatar. If you select customize it, it will be replaced with a custom avatar. No. So uh, we're going to go ahead and back up and just make sure we get the uh, this guy right here so we can easily pick him out of the crowd. Uh, we'll name him uh, Dr. Obsidia. <laughs> How about we uh, don't go with the doctor, though? Okay, so uh, legacy selection here. We're going to be able to pick some of his skills or something. And uh, apparently there's quite a bit, right? Um, but we don't have any legacy, so we didn't level up anything. This is all 
Maybe if you level up another character, you can restart and you can pick some stuff to help your guy. And you can see how there's like some typos here. They've, they've messed up their spacing a little bit. And you're going to see those kinds of things more often throughout the game. All right. You are a spirit man, sir. There are many wizards in the land, but you are unique among them. Erasing memories, controlling minds, creating illusions. These are your unique tricks as a spirit man, sir. But you must act discreetly, for the name Obsidia remains a prominent one on the wanted posters in the underworld. All right. This is my companion, Zainet. Oh, I'm fine, Zainet. I'm fine. Memories of a woman float into your mind, your deceased wife. Oh. Are we still going to Amaranth Town? Zainab is worried about your health. Her words remind you came back from hell with one goal. I must have been dead or something. Find the one who took everything from you. Yep, having come back from death, your powers are much diminished. Your desire for revenge, however, remains strong. Alright, so we got Ironstone Wood, which I have no idea what to do with yet. You are in the merchant's camp nestled inside a valley beyond lies the desert. All right, so it shows you I have uh, the different skill sets here near my where my hand would be at. Full position, speed up camera, I can access uh, sprint. It kind of moves fast in this game too. And some of these over here are down here on the side. So uh, one thing I did learn is uh, in the game settings somewhere, if I remember, you can actually slow down the uh, battles because the battles happen pretty quickly. So. Um, Anyway, you just hold the mouse button down, the left mouse button, and he'll follow your cursor, you can see. And uh, there's a lot of decorations, but on the mini-map here we can see there's actually somebody up here, a traveler. So, we do have some overlap here. You're new here, right? Maybe I can answer some questions. And he's just going to tell us where stuff is. I'll ask who he is. Uh, he's nobody. not going to ask him anything else. You don't want to be surprised by band. So we can check the map here and here we got to go. We got to go to Redstone Valley probably. Here's our party and we can level up. So we do have some skill, one skill point to spend. And uh, we could call shades. I think no it requires level three. So I think we're stuck with just taking the psychic bullet. Fine. And a lot of these numbers, I'm not even sure exactly what they mean other than, yeah, it does magic damage, uh, you cast it, it throws an orb, and then after a short delay it bursts and hits enemies around it. But once it impacts something, it'll make a little mini bomb there and burst. Alright, you hear faint calls for help. Uh, let's see, it's a middle-aged man dressed in ragged clothes carrying an old staff. He grasps a masked woman's hand. Chasing him is a group of humanoid monsters ensconced with flame. Save me. Or you can respond. A flaming creature appears. And here he is. We're gonna... So here, we can just hit him with our spell too. He evades. Now we can slow this down a little bit so we can kind of understand a little bit more what's going on. Oops. So yeah, you kind of see how fast that was. Thank you. May I ask your name? Obsidia. My name is Malik. Scholar. She is Isra, an orphan picked up in Twin Luna Valley. She was interested in my study, so I took her with me. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. What were those monsters? You're lucky you'll never encounter one. Ifrit are violent by nature, and they especially like to attack humans, human mages in particular. Kind of weak Ifrit isn't even self-aware, but it is said it said more powerful Ifrit are smarter than a human, though I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you, please accept this token of my gratitude. You are really a kind person. The area ahead is dangerous. Yes, you proceed with caution. Malik and Isra express their gratitude, and uh, the Ifrit basically vanishes. You can see the picture of it there as it's fallen apart. And it says the Battle of the Black Sun is has made this world unrecognizable, but people have never stopped fighting it. The appearance of such a monster is unlikely to change anyone's dream of conquest. Whatever that means. You brace your head against the wind and press forward. Alright, see you later. Caravan leader. He's headed to Redstone Valley, so we're going to jump in his caravan here. It just kind of teleports us there. 
Now, if we check the map, we can see there's other uh, go to Umbra Cliffs there, uh, go to Crying Rock. So we just run into these little portals and it'll take us there. So this is kind of a, just a map that we're running around on. You can collect these things. I'm not sure what these do. Limestone flower uh, in our inventory, we can see. This says no cost, goods. I don't even know what it does. <laughs> Maybe we can craft something later. Don't look surprised. People always seem to complain about how far they have to travel, how small their bag is, filled with too many weapons, broken and in need of repair. I won't stand for that. Me, I'm an old leather worker. I can help you expand your inventory. If I want to expand my bags, it's probably going to cost me 500 Utar. Yeah, I think we don't have that. Right, we're not going to do anything with that. I didn't understand. He said 500 Utar, I guess, just to unlock something. Is it an adventurer? I don't have enough Utar to hire troops, but I know that fighting alone is too dangerous. People who sell animals, too. Now we can go up here and talk to the merchant as well. He has a Badland wolf, but we don't want to buy the wolves. I, I, way too much money, anyway. Over here, this merchant, maybe they're going to sell something. Or a flower. Horses, too expensive. This is a little quest. Uh, you can see here this little helmet thing. This here, uh, some prisoners being held to makeshift jail. Now we don't have the level for this. It recommends uh, level five. You can take your companions with you, but you can't respawn after being defeated. So I think we're gonna cancel. We can always come back and do these, and they respawn. Uh, they kind of refresh. You can kind of run them over and over again after so many days. Oh, there's an enemy. Desert Bandit. Haven't you heard of the famous Desert Brotherhood? Hand over your valuables and value your life. Now we're gonna fight. Manual battle? Came after me, of course. Get that spirit bomb going there. Okay. We got a little Utar out of that. Let's check our damage that caused this much damage. We took this much and uh, Zainab healed a little bit. And you'll see a little exclamation point when one of us gains a level. Roll up here and see. Oh, yeah, we'll probably have to fight these guys. Yeah, scram. What do you want to do, Lee? We're not going to attack these guys. That's suicide at this rate. beast. I was kind of exploring around a little bit, like revealing the map. Oh, I can roll. Look at that. Ooh, get out of there. <laughs> That's a space bar. Ooh, that hurt me a little. Yeah, I better do better than that, Zaynep. We gained levels, got some wood, not sure what we're going to do with it. I think we level people up like you do in uh, Mountain Blade. Alright, check our skills here. So we still can't get our summoning done yet. We'll level up our psychic power. And then she is mostly our tanky person, so we want her to do a lot of damage up front. Increase her damage, we can increase her slicer skill. It deals damage to all enemies hit by the attack. And uh, maybe even inflicts a bleed, so let's go ahead and do that. He'll run up and start smashing stuff. Oh, something sparkling down here. Fight some Desert Brotherhood again. I get like this auto attack if I just click, and I have to kind of target them, I think, but I think if you hit uh, A, they'll just, uh, so here, I, I hit A and like uh, attack move, so those just continue to auto attack, and then I can just throw that in a general direction. So, 
you don't have to just keep clicking stuff. Um. Oh, okay, hold on. Open up inventory, because I can affect her inventory too. She has an iron sword. Its durability is 37 on 40. And here's another one, which is the exact same thing. So once her sword breaks, I don't have to repair it. I just switch it out. Uh, level one. Okay, so exploration mode regiment. So I can take everybody in, I guess. Take your companions with you. Uh, prep time is zero hours. One floor means just one thing happens. So you find yourself surrounded by beasts. So we fight. So you can fight like three or four times, or just events can happen. So yeah, I just click A and then like target move, and then he'll just keep attacking, and he'll switch targets once his target dies. You can like actually click if you want to target a specific one. Click on them. And with his spirit bomb, I need to make sure it's kind of among the beasts. So there, I came out. And if you try to do it again, uh, it's zero to seven days. So you can come back and do it, but uh, seven days later. A little chest here. So here's where a camp is, and if I talk to these people, so now I'm in the city center. There's trade items, the commissions, and recruit troops, and also the tavern where you can recruit heroes. But here's a hero, um, Muta Alik. She says she's Muta Alik. And then I can uh, give her gifts if I get stuff. Try to attract her or something. What she thinks of me, she says we're not familiar. All right, it's fine. I can add, run errands for her to make her happy. I can only get a few people, so you gotta kind of be picky early on, at least, I've noticed. We do need to recruit troops, so we'll talk to the village elder. Is anyone here willing to follow me? So they have Nasir Militia for 125 Utar. I'm gonna recruit them, but now they're in my party. And then I can manage squad here. Uh, and there's the militia right there. siege the area you can set a waypoint here which i'm not sure what that does here's my party and they can gain levels up so if i promote them you can see how far they can go so these guys are actually pretty good they can go all the way up to the crossbowmen but you can make them do other stuff as well and you can see their skills uh, they will get different skills and things as they go and we'll take a look at that once they gain Got a few people, we got four of them now. The abandoned redstone mine, let's check this out. All right, level five, we are not quite there yet. And it's gonna cost us money and six hours to prepare. We're gonna come back to that later. Get a talent shard, which I'm not sure what they do, but we do have talents. I mean, if you know what these things do, uh, you can check the comment section below, and if there's nothing there, you can let me know. Especially if this series is ongoing, or I choose to continue with it. Back move here. Pathfinding issue there. It almost runs me on AI if I just attack move. Not much there. Desert Brotherhood is now scared of me. They're gonna run from me. Bad luck, brothers, run! Ah, oh, we're gonna pursue them. We like to kill these guys. Sorry, Desert Brotherhood. get this game and you don't realize that the A is the attack, uh, then you're going to have some trouble. <laughs> the A attack move. Classic thing there. Not used to it in this kind of game, but uh, there you have it. Alright, 
Could she wear this weapon? No, she can't. This is a dagger or a knife. Good against heavy cav and light cav. Cavalry. Can we finally get our shade? Yes, we can. So now we can call shade. We can drop that down in our bar. Probably should have saved that. It automatically puts it on our bar. She could actually level up uh, down here at Hilt Smack, which is more of a single target. We're going to go ahead and go for the multiple targets because we have quite a few enemies that are multiple right now. I'm not going to enter that bandit camp. Something here. Before you is a strange obsidian flame. My name's Obsidia. Though you are some distance from this flame, you can sense a threat. As you approach, you hear a hoarse voice. Give me food. Danger level 17. Yeah, we're, we're not going to mess with that thing right now. I don't know if that's level 17 or what. There's a banner here. Uh, rally point? Yeah, whatever that means. Maybe if we die, it, it brings us back here. Recommend level three, the abandoned sawmill regiment. Did I take our people with us? All right, first floor, aren't any enemies. Found some wood. Is that it? All right, nothing in there really. Miner here. Dangerous here, he says. I didn't see anybody. Go to the ember. We're not gonna go there just yet. We're just kind of around here's the ember camp and fuck get some more troops maybe here's more militia yeah we'll take more militia why not and who's here got some people here we have a beast trainer a wrestler and in the wild i guess that means just uh, if they've got the little what is it their empathy towards you or their feelings towards you there then you know uh they're npcs he looks like some kind of caster, kind of like me, so I'm not even going to mess with him. I don't know if that's good or not. If I only get one companion right now, I'm going to be picky. I need somebody that's kind of tanky or healy. A healer might be nice. There's a bazaar here that I can't access. Look at this mine. We're not quite level five, but uh, we do have some people with us, so let's try it. We're gonna spend 50 Utuar, and we're gonna try to do this. Hey, it's Malik. My, uh, I saved him. I found you. Is he gonna join me? What, do you, what about Isra? Where is she at? She was pretty uh, attractive. Finds her own path. All right. He's in need of our help. He wants to know how powerful the Ifrit are. They have their own language. Uh, they evolve quickly. If this continues, humans will be unable to defeat them. What do you need me to do? On a secret base, he wants us to do something. The Paho Lava Void to the south of Redstone Keep is where I shall wait for you. He wants us to go there. He seems earnest. He staggers forward awkwardly, his belongings slap against his body. He looks back at you one more time. Ready, we have to go there. All right. Well, we were gonna do this. Level five. We're taking a big chance here. Probably get killed. <laughs> we're only level three. We only have one companion. First floor, not buddy. All right. Second floor. Increase your party's evasion by twenty percent. Activating a magic stone triggers poison gas. Five health per second. No, we're gonna ignore it. Search the pitch black caves, they are completely silent. You encounter bandits in the third floor. That's probably a whole bunch of them, too. Oh, it's not too bad. Zaynab's got that uh, area attack forward, which is good. Oh, I forgot to summon my shades. <laughs> That'll take some of the pressure off me. Bandits scatter. We find a fine iron sword. That's kind of nice. No enemies, we can do the same thing, increase our attack, we're going to ignore that, I don't want to get poisoned here, and we're done. 
Well, that was pretty nice. Oh, we gotta go talk to the boss guy or something? Oh, uh, yeah. The wizard. Gotta fight their boss. Zena's having a little trouble there. Let me actually go down. Yep, she did. But we still got him. Some wheat. That's food. We always need food. Got a wooden wand, some forge tools. Alright. And we got a talent out of that. Alright, so here's your talent tree. Um, kind of looking down the line, you can see uh, you get Friend of Beast. Uh, if you go down this line, for example, it gives you some uh, attack bonus to your beasts and your allies and leadership and so on. The Charisma will give you better um, favor for the heroes. You can level up the heroes better, I guess, and you can get better he more heroes. And the heroes are super powerful in this, too. So, um... I tend to like to get uh, units. March speed is faster. I don't know if we need faster march speed. Although food consumption reduction is nice because we gotta buy food all the time. Charisma is always good. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Get towards the uh, hero limit there. Headed toward that lava field. Who's this guy? We the weapons I make here uh, can take down the tallest towers. We need eight or more squads, so he's probably selling siege equipment. Harley Warrior. Um, we can't do him yet. I know that for a fact. There's a Brotherhood. They're trying to run from us right now. See my mana there in the blue bar? throw the spell in the general direction. Once it impacts somebody, it drops the little bomb there. They've decided they can't take me on again. That holding cell. I think we can do this. Recommend level 5. Go ahead and try it. Take Zane out. We're level 3. We did pretty well last time. We're just trying to stop you. We've got summoning here. Uh oh. Where's Zane at? Uh oh, she might be injured. <laughs> Oh, I didn't click her right. Okay. Probably gonna take me down then. <laughs> gonna die here. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I didn't click her right. We'll see what happens here. They release us with a stern warning. Uh, Alright. So the party... I think I'm okay. I don't know if we can try it again. They're just giving us a stern warning. Try with Zainap this time. I think I made it in clicker correctly. Yeah, there she goes. Now we're a little better off. She's not doing so well either, is she? Got one of them. There's too many of them still. Oh well. Zaynep may be injured. Uh, no. If she was, then I wouldn't be able to bring her until she healed, I guess. They're just gonna release us with another stern warning. Well, it's nice that they're not really killing us. Alright. Um, we do have a fine sword here, which is a little bit better than what she has, so let's drop that in there. I have a strong wooden wand, which is a little bit better than that. So he said Redstone Keep. It was south of Redstone Keep. So Redstone Keep's over here. Oh, we passed it. 
Okay, I'm gonna head to Redstone Keep then. Revealing some of the map. I get this thing. I have to go around. Okay, so there's some quests here. Oh, let's go talk to Redstone Keep first. Repair our gear. We don't need to because they're old. Quite a few people here. We can recruit mercenaries. Um, there's Mudalik, the girl, uh, the girl we were talking to before, right? At the other place. And the guy here, Asl, he was at the other place. He gained a level as well. Well, merchant wrestler, we're not going to worry about wrestling right now, but you can wrestle and get some skills and things. You get a whole new tree for wrestling and kind of a different little mini game they do. You can't go to the tribal hall though. And if you want to trade, you actually have to buy some kind of. Uh... Oh, now they're going to let me trade. Alright. Um, I have a combat helmet. Helmet for fighting cannot be used in actual combat. Well, that's probably worthy of selling then. Need two iron swords. Probably should have sold the one with durability problems. I guess I, maybe I did. I'm not sure about these orchids and things. Um. All right, we'll leave. I don't want to mess with these guys. Uh, well, maybe we can. We can talk to them. Volunteers. Recently, a group of desert hippies came by, babbling about their followers of the fire god. They're converting people all over the place. It's tricky. There happens to be a mountainous region in the south, and some claim to see molten lava beings down there. The local sultan has men garrison there to defend. Our men can't get any closer. If you could take three squads over. I trust. All right. Uh, Got to get three squads of troops before he's going to let us do anything. quest around here somewhere. Yeah, there's the guard. I'm gonna take a look at some notices. Ter like on the wall, there's a, a uh, to the north there's a mine. If you go there at the end of the canyon after the black sun, miners also saw ghostly fire. Miners really got injured, went missing. What do you need me to do? Go see for yourself if you think you can survive. Did we do that already? That's what we did. Alright. Our guy told us to go south of Redstone Keep the lava fields. That's where we're headed. A chest up here. Which check out. Oh, that's the... No? Former alchemy workshop. Level three, two floors. Yep, we're going in. No enemies in the first one. Found some limestone. Well, that's it. Only one floor? I thought it was two floors. 15 days till the next time we can do that. And then this is some kind of shrine that you have to pray at. It gets activated once in a while or something. You have to run to it and do it once it says that it's active. my limestone or the uh, lava fields anymore kind of running around revealing the map some you're here for one reason the treasure chest in front of you but as you move closer doubt surfaces in your mind yeah we're not gonna mess with danger level 15 like I said I don't know if that's level 15 or what the lava field. I don't know if we can get in. Maybe over here. Run back this way. Got 
Traveling merchant's just gonna sell me animals, um, I think. And then this uh, is where the brawls happen. We're not gonna mess with brawls just yet. There is a uh, quest down here we can do. Oh, Beast Den. One floor. Recommend level one. Easy for us to kill. Summon right away. Cactus fruit. Is that like a dragon fruit? You like dragon fruit? Go anywhere from here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I see all those birds flying? I feel as though something has happened here, but you don't have the training to fully. I can't really move very much. Kind of weird. Sometimes it's hard to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Particularly the map here. See, I need to get over here, but this is all walled off. This looks like an entrance. But, uh, I don't know if I can get through there. I've already tried to. Let's look this way a little bit. Put some stuff up here. Trying to individually click these guys, it's a pain. That's what I was having trouble with. I was looking for some kind of an auto target, auto attack, and found it. So it makes it a lot easier to manage. Bookseller, they give you extra skills, which you definitely want. But uh, I'm saving my money for my first hero. Bad luck, brothers, run. Maps seem almost always the same. Something going, I forgot I had it. Um, I have seen different stuff. I think it may be just this like zone that I'm in. When you get to a different zone, it changes the map. Spirit 20? I don't have Spirit 20, do I? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna mess with Danger Level 15. Like I said, I'm not sure what that means exactly. Do I need to be level 15 to kill that stuff? Because you can definitely come back here. It's not like I'm in a starting zone per se. Building village. Kill merchant. Kill merchant. To recruit more troops. More Nasir militia. We're not gonna cancel or bring more militia. I think it's not necessarily good to just keep getting the same unit type. Because you do have a limit, uh, seven here, seven squads, and also heroes. I can have three. So I'm looking for a good hero. I'm looking for some varied units. Out here, another Desert Brotherhood. I think we may not be able to do it. That quest may be way too hard for us. Actually, we did talk to somebody that would let us through. 
If you remember, they are stationed there waiting, so he told us we can go in. Maybe those quests are kind of linked up somehow. can level up our guys. Yeah, you can actually talk to people. Um, I don't know about their command skill. The treasure, I'll train our army to make them stronger. So she just leveled up because I talked to her. Give the relationship better, they get stronger abilities or something like that. And then I think that's under skills, actually. Yeah, right here, other arcane blockade. All right, so here's our militia. If I want to level them up, I need uh, 175 Utar. Uh, I don't know how much I have. I have uh, 397. If we level them up. Increases uh, maybe their armor. Yeah, it looks like it just gives them better armor. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not really thinking that they're in any danger. Oh, okay, here. Stop. Strange happenings occurred. None may enter by order of Lord Husnu. Entering will be difficult. Hang on. What? Let's charge them. We're supposed to go in here. to go in. Uh-oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, they're easy to kill. Because the healers weren't so easy to kill. And we gained a level. Nice. The shade is kind of good if we level them up. I don't know what the difference is. Let's see. D3 melee units, same as Dark Wizard summons. What's the difference? Duration? Longer? Amount? Oh, you get one extra one. Okay. And Psychic Bullet uh, deals more damage, I think. 496. That's what it says. Oh, okay. If you, if you click on it, it's uh, it tells you. Yeah, I, I would get three of them instead of two. Right now I'm getting two. If I click this, it does quite a bit more damage. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and level up the Psychic Bullet. Okay, we got it through. Lava field. Okay, we'll go ahead and activate this. Searching around here. Here we go. Malik is there. Malik appears we've been waiting for you for some time. Yeah, it took us a while to figure out how to figure out how to get through there. When he sees you, he is as dry as a vegetable on the first day of the rainy season. He greets you excitedly, playing the secret base. Make your move, buddy. Get him. Whoa, he's fast. Look at him running. Can't help fight at all, but I can pull levers and such. All right. It's clear the temperature is higher than when you approach one wall. As you move towards a strange wall, there's a sudden violent explosion. Here it is, we're here. The wall shatters into rubble and your eardrums are assaulted by the harsh roar. When the dust settles, you see a new face of a monster, a giant freak as tall as two men. One of its hands is bound by an iron chain while a broken chain hangs from the other, its fist clenched. That's an ifrit? Yes, isn't it spectacular? Slowly walk towards the giant. This is the result of half a life of research. According to lost records, this is how they were a thousand years ago. A thousand years ago world originally belonged to them. Humans took away their land. The humans are the menace. Now they are back and they want to take back what belongs to them. Uh-oh. What are you helping them do? You will be dead soon. 
<laughs> there is no need to tell you much. Prophecy says that you will become an obstacle. Now it seems the Farood may not be so infallible. You are insignificant. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So now we're playing around with this guy. This. So we're gonna have to maneuver here a bit. Missed. No, 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 run! Ouch. <laughs> Got a good hit on him. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Taking a little bit of my focus. Oops, I missed. I don't want to get close to him, I'm a mage. Uh oh. Ouch. Oh, if I stop and shoot him. There we go. Yeah, hit him while I run. By that. Yay! <laughs> that took some maneuvering. I'm not used to that. I've just been steamrolling everything up to this point. No, oh, it's impossible. That's what you get when you uh, kite people. Person will be difficult to handle, Malik. The first predictions are never wrong. An old witch in a tattered cloak appears, limping with her staff. Her neck is extraordinarily long to an inhuman degree. A blue crystal amulet is the only thing that shines on her decayed body. Doesn't look extraordinarily long. <laughs> if you met this woman, this Farood witch, and you said, Wow, you have an extraordinarily long neck. It doesn't look like that. When was the last time you fed him? Uh, ancient Ifri ate human mages for food. Where can I find enough mages to feed him? Hey, you know, hey guys, I'm standing right here and I just beat him. So... Useless surface dweller. The witch takes a bow knife at her waist and cuts her wrist. Blood gurgles out. The huge Ifrit that I just knocked down moves towards the witch, who casually raises an arm. As if feeding a pet, but something goes wrong. At that moment, the Ifrit breaks the remaining shackle and pounces on the witch like a wild wolf. He grabs the thin witch and tosses her into his mouth, the sound of screams and broken bones mixed together. Malik frozen in place and speechless. Blood Ifrit turns to look at Malik. I I created you. I He's eating all these people. You charge the Ifrit, but he knocks you to the ground. Pass out. Why would I charge him? I guess I already beat him once, I was looking to do it again. Oh, Isra. So this is how it is. You're astonished to realize that the sound comes from the crumbling Ifrit. Is time unable to imprison you, or are you imprisoned by something else? Say what? Someday you will all be punished. I look forward to that day. It falls silent as the body turns to ash. Your surroundings are quiet as if the world has ended. Isra, you're awake. The girl in blue stands in front of the charcoal corpse. The girl turns to you. You recognize her as Isra, who traveled with Malik. Her presence here mystifies you. Malik did not lie to you about the Ifrit's origins. Ifrits are not just monsters that appeared after the Black Sun, they are more dangerous than we could have imagined. Malik, he has helped me, but when he spoke of, was far from the truth. Malik despises humanity. I think he despised. You defeated it? Sure, she says, but his spirit was worn down over the ages he lost himself in the end. The real Malik perished long ago. Who are you? Who I am isn't important. The way back to Redstone Valley is the way you came. All she did is just give me some experience and say, good job, see you later. That was kind of cold. Let's run around here real quick. Oh, it's back here. Why aren't my people following me anymore?
Oh, maybe I'm in like a quest zone or something. Uh oh. Or say the heroic soul something. This woman is interesting. Who is this guy? Ready to leave? Huh? Yeah, okay, we'll leave. I'm not sure what's going on there. I guess I could have run over there. It says, wait for Isra to contact, contact you. So... Can I not go around? Click it. Oh, okay, there we go. Beat those poor guards up. Out here. Desert Brotherhood. We do have a talent here, and if we go here, we can gain more favor. Um, moving towards that uh, hero limit increase. Or we can go drill where they can get more experience and level up faster. But we're gonna go ahead and continue down that tree. Make our gifts worth more. Oops, we'll go ahead and kill him. Terminant has begun in various locations. Haven't done those yet. Those healing orbs and things you can drop on your bar. All right, we need to go back to Redstone Keep, I think, over here to turn in our quest. You can see the days passing up there as well and the t ticker on the days. This guy looks interesting. Uh, I infin. Maybe we can give a gift. Culture and handicrafts. I don't have any of those. I don't even think I've gotten any gifts yet. Can we recruit him? No. Can we run an errand for you? I have a letter to be delivered to Emerald Village. Yeah, we'll go wherever Emerald Village is. Repair our gear. Where's Emerald Village? Uh, we better check the world map for that. But here's the world map. Uh, it's not much bigger than this, as far as I can tell. They kind of just search. It's to the south, so we have to go to uh, this is Umber Cliff. So we have to take this portal down here to Ember Village then. I thought I had three squads. I guess I didn't have three squads yet. For another quest down here. Okay, I guess we already did it then. This taunting forces nearby enemies to attack. Your enemies, however, may have this something something. I didn't read all of it. Alright, well... Thanks for joining everybody. I hope you got a good taste of the very introductory parts of this game. If you like the series please like please subscribe let me know in the comments section if you'd like me to continue the series and i will consider doing it because uh, it's kind of fun to play and i would like to see where it goes uh and i do have other series to restart eventually here it's kind of easy to get into i think and uh if you've done any of these kind of point and click adventure games kind of like diablo 2 uh you'll kind of know how it works it's pretty easy pretty straightforward and um it's kind of enjoyable so I'm sure there's a lot more to it that I haven't seen yet, too, so I'm sure it's going to get even better. Thanks for joining, everybody. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Peace out.